Let's go and speak to Bala Vaughn, just in here in the finance district. And then I believe we're going to go to Chora's Den, where we do have a couple of quests that we can complete in one go, I think. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? Yes. Need information. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. Start talking. I need that information. Now. Threats don't work on me, Commander. This information is worth a small fortune. But this is an unusual situation. So I am going to let you have it for free. Nothing's for free, exactly. There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Hmm. What a shock. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. Where is he? How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. CSEC? Why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Right, let's go. Oh wait, there personal questions. Tell me more about your job. Oh, we've already asked him this. I also offer premium service. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Right, well, tell you what, if that is time sensitive, I think we should go and speak to this Krogan, because this is valuable information. And I believe we do have the fast travel point for CSEC. Oops, wrong button again. <laughs> CSEC. Oh, we don't have CSEC. Unless that's a different one. Wards? No. Funny enough, we do have the Chora's Den fast travel point, which is weird because I've never been there. Now, wait, I did. Let's have a quick look. Directions. 2 CSEC Academy, it's down here. Alright, let's see if we can find it. CSEC. We've scanned him already. That path puts us on that balcony. Maybe this is it. No, this is... Hmm. Unless CSEC was the area at the very end. We're going to have to go... On the bal- oh wait there, can we get up there? Oh, we can get up here. Seasec. How the- Where the fuck is the fuck is Seasec? <laughs> Mate, it'd be nice if there was like some- Some sort of- Help. You there, can you tell me where well CSEC is? In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. That's all for now. Thank you for using I thought you were supposed to help me find day. places. Well, I don't know where CSEC is, unfortunately. To CSEC Academy. <laughs> it says this way is to CSEC Academy. It's not even fucking here. Jesus Christ, the fucking navigation in this game's dog shit so far, like. It can't be up there. It can't be up there, can it? Unless it is across the other side. Ah, that's. Oh, wait there. C second embassies. Okay, so it's on the other side of the, the map. To CSEC Academy, right? Which way is it? Left or right? Right. Citadel Tower. CSEC's this way. Oh, it must be on the down. 
underneath this is it here, isn't it? C-Sec, happy days. Right, let's go in. Right, we need to find this Krogan. Could be hostile. Nobody wants to say anything. I've tried clicking on them, but they just stand there like... the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Here we go. Let me in. Well, there's the fast travel point. Right, let's check the map. Rex. Requisitions. C-Sec officers. Okay. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. He's a big yes, lad, isn't he? I'm trying to bring down Saren. Bar Levon said to talk to you. Barlevon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. What goal? Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What did he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. She was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Hmm. Fist's not too smart. He's just greedy. Saren paid him a small fortune for the Quarian. He had to. She has evidence connecting him to the Geth. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. We've got to find out. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. Oh, look. Rex, I'll tell you what, why don't we take... I'm not sure. What? I don't know what skills he's got. Examine squad. I tell you what, get rid of him. I think I need him for the time being because he's got tech to unlock stuff. Right, well, we're, the, we're, the, we're the boys squad. <laughs> we're taking all the boys. Yeah, accept. There we go. Right, let's have a look at his skills. AM squad. Caden. So he's got Krogan Battle Master. Barrier. Bolster Shields. That's quite good to keep him in the in check. Combat armor. Oh, this guy's just a tank. I tell you what, let's give him. He can equip heavy armor next level, so why don't we give him 
all of them. We've got four points to spend on something else. Regenerates health. Stasis. That could be good. We'll give him overkill because it's good to have the actual skill to use. And then melee damage by 50%. Increases resistance to physical forces. This isn't that good, it's only health per second, so I'm going to save them three points. Right, next guy. Ah, oh, I need one more level to get that. He's good at first aid, he's good at decryption. Yeah, right, I'm happy. Happy with that. Oh, wait there, one last thing. Equipment, we've got some Krogan armor, haven't we? We might as well put it on him. Oh, it's... It's heavy armor, so we can equip that on him later on. Okay, let's go. So, where is... I don't know where the med bay is. Do we have a quest? Scan the keepers. 12 out of 21, also at least we're halfway there. There might be some in here, actually. Citadel Garrus. A Turian C-Sec officer might be able to help you against Saren. Go to the med clinic. Up our wards. Okay, well we are headed to the wards, but while we're here, let's just have a quick look about. See if we can find anything. I'll go this way. can't really get into the details, but Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go. Hey uh -huh. there. Oh. Shorbin, is that not the... Are you? Did you want no. something? Overheard. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. A serious claim. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. <laughs> what the hell? So what? Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know You're full it. of shit. So how can I help you? What do you need? Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Okay then, I'll talk to him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban. Ah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's the guy who asked us to scan the keepers. Yeah. The keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Hmm. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck. Okay, so it's, it's a multifaceted approach on this this quest. Even though I'm on Corp Chorbin's side because he's paying me, and I chased that money, son. Oh, hello. Oh, nice. How do I, how the hell do I get here? That'll do. One more closer. Weapons lock, are we we got a codex entry but no um items. <laughs> I'm a bit gutted about that. I want the loot. Right, and that's it, there's nothing else here. 
Right, we'll check the other side, then we're going straight to Cora's den, but we can fast travel there, so that's good. The upper wards. Wait there. Just keep my eye out for them keepers. Aha! One sec, looking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Yes, I will. What have you got? Show me what you've got. What are you buying? Excellent. I what are you selling? What you're looking for. He's selling heavy armor for 20 grand. I'm only really interested in unique items. There we go. I'll have that. 100 gold bargain. Right, that's it. See you later. Okay, let's go to the wards. So we'll hit up. Ooh, where are we going to hit up? I want to go and see that Garrus guy. But where is the fast travel? We'll go to Korra's den first. Yeah, baby. Right, where are we? Cora's den is that way. Well, we're going here. Oh yeah. What? Oh, they already know we're coming, do we? I was thinking this we're going to get some sexy, sexy time. Look out! Right, wait there. Right, hold on. What I want to do is actually I want to change something. Settings. Gameplay. I want squad power usage to be defensive only, and then I control their offense. That's better. Na -na 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 -na. This guy's been a cocksucker. Got him, nice. What a shot. Oh, you go over there. Headshot! Oh, get wrecked. What the hell was that? Is Caden dead? Caden's always dead. He's fucking useless. Oh, watch this. Light it up! Hold on. Yeah, I need a weapon with better accuracy. <laughs> Kane's just <laughs> lying dead. <laughs> right, hold on. Can we send squad mates to open doors? I don't think we can. Hello. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. <laughs> You're making a mistake here, pulling a gun out on us. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. 
True, you can't spend it when you're dead. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Nice. Oh, so fast. Pistol, shotgun and assault rifle. Nice, we'll check them out later. Why do I have to do everything myself? Right, wait there, let's get some powers on the go. Warp. Overload. Why is my... Um, why is my weapon firing so slow? Oh wait, I've got the wrong... Look, lads, I've got the wrong bloody gun out. I must have pressed triangle by accident. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't realise he had turrets. Nice. Get wrecked. Wait, don't kill me, I surrender. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Hold wait, on. wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You son of a bitch. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. <laughs> Oh my god! The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Yeah, I, I can't even argue with that. He deserved it. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that quarian. <laughs> he just blew his head off. That was bloody awesome. Right, shit, we've got... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We've got fucking time limits. Right... Oh, shit. I fucked it. Ah, oh, failed. Insufficient Omni Gel. I, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Fuck that. Watch this. Auto save Citadel. I like auto saves. If this is if this is just after this guy got his head blown off, it was awesome. Perfect auto save. It was me being crap at this. I want to know what's in here. I need the loot. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's the one. Ooh, armor oh, piercing rounds and hammerhead rounds. We'll check them out later, but we've got to get to... Caden, will you get the fuck out of the way? <laughs> I've got time limit, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, it's this way, shit. Tell me how we're going ape shit. Oh, this is awesome when you use overload. Shit. Accuracy, we definitely need better and more accurate weapon. Get wrecked. Get the entrance, quick. Lads, are we clear? Shit, I just seen someone. I thought I saw someone there. Two minutes. Wait there, stop. What's on the map? Oh, that's not even... General Septimus is in there. I think that's part of a different quest, actually. This is more important. Come on, baby. Come on, baby.
But wait there, can we use a sniper rifle? I don't know who's enemies and who's not. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Shit. Get them. Oh my god, it's so hard to use this. Fuck that. I've lost shields. <laughs> now if we've overheated, can we switch to a different weapon? We can! Oh, it's doing good damage. Dead. Oh, I missed. Did I seriously miss point blank range with a sniper? Got him. What a shot. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. You all right? I took care of him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? A friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. No one will see this anyway. I wish we just got some awesome, like, orcs. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many. Who's this? A quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Shut up and I'll tell you. This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. What kind of evidence did you find? How did you get it? During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Is that right? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the Conduit. Any idea what that means? The Conduit must have something to do with the Beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, 
the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Exactly, don't tell them. They won't believe you anyway. Just keep them out of this. We have to tell them. Even if they don't believe anything else, this proves Saren is a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Join us. I'm happy to take it on. Take you on. Well, wait there. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Fair enough. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay then, let's have a look. Well, I definitely want him. He's a beast. She's not very good at combat. But if she can lockpick, I'll take her. I think she does. Right, let's have a look. So, you. She can. Decryption and hacking. Right, so let's get her up to unlock hacking. Boom. And we'll save her. Ah, shield capacity by 60. That is massive. Why can I not put, put uh, Why can I not put more points in hacking? Oh, unless I need to be leveled up. That's right, because it's a secondary, isn't it? I don't know what electronics and dampen do. Basic armor. Was she ah, she's got access to first aid, which is what I need. Otherwise, I can't heal. I don't think. Right, I'll keep that for now. He doesn't have first aid. I do. I might have to spend one point in first aid so I can heal during combat, but let's have a look. I know I can still heal, so what's the point? Right, equipment. Oh, we've got high caliber barrel. Right. We'll keep them for later. We'll sort it all out at the end of the episode. But we've got somewhere we need to be. We need we need to go to Chorus Den anyway for something, didn't we? Journal. Garrus. You no longer need Garrus, however, he might still be able to help you against Saren. If you happen to run him into run into him, you might want to hear what he has to say. Okay. Expose Saren. Simons. Right, scan the keepers. Asari consort. General Septimus, that too that is, so we're going back to Right, we're going back to Chora's Den, we'll go and speak to the general. That's if it That's if we haven't ruined Chora's Den. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? <laughs> what didn't mean to say that? She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. I'll find out. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Okay then. I'll see if I can help him out. We want the assault rifle on, just in case. Sniper rifle is quite good, but again, we were so early on in the game, everything's like quite hard to use. Hey, 
Who are we talking to? This guy. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. It's toxic. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Hmm. I do see your point. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Samesh should hear this. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I know if they just told him the truth in the first place, it wouldn't leave him high and dry. Now wait there, where am I going? This way. He probably will understand, I think. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Norelli. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. <laughs> this is war. Samesh, right now more people are going to die unless the military runs those tests. This isn't about them. This is about my wife, the woman the military killed. This is war. People die. If you want to keep that to a minimum, let them run those tests. <laughs> you think I've not given enough? Don't speak to me of duty. My wife is dead. Yes. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. I know, but what you're going to do, it's not going to help, th help anything. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Exactly. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. Exactly, like, don't get me wrong. If somebody had said to me, like, yeah, like, we need your girlfriend's body because it, it's going to help us benefit mankind in the future. I'm not going to crack on. It's sh dead anyway, you know what I mean? It's just a body, it's just a vessel. The, what you actually loved is, is now gone. The brain is dead. Okay, well that was a nice little side quest. Where was I going again? Chora's Den. Chora's Den, however you pronounce it. Boom. Right, we'll go in there, we'll speak to the commander that's there, and see if that leads us any more on with the help of the consort. Because I would like to get the consort's blue knickers. <laughs> she, she, she's a sexy alien. He was over here, wasn't he? I got business here, but not with you. General Septimus. Commander. What do you want? Yeah, actually, do you have any problems? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. And tomorrow I'll be sober. Unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut, go away. 
I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Get a grip. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. But now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It's better than sitting on your ass all day. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. <laughs> Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Definitely. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. How? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's oh, I know Zeltan. Diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about oh. Shaira. Well, here's the soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Maybe I will. Oh, this is the guy that's... The, the guy we're going to take this data part to is actually the one we started off the quest. He's the one that pointed us in the... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. I think I will relax. I've deserved it. Oh, damn. Sit forward, baby. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. Oh, this is the one. What are those called? Asaris. I would definitely, definitely hang out the back of an Asari leg. Any day of the week. In fact, we might be. Because that's where we're going, isn't it? Oh my god, please say yes. Please say it is so. So where are we headed again? The embassy. I'm pretty sure that's at the embassy. Uh, Presidium? Embassies. We'll speak to Zoltan and then I want to go to the upper wards to see... Grrr. Garrus. I would like to know where we see how much we've leveled up. Let's have a look. Um, experience. Oh look, we've nearly leveled up to level 7. We get 57 more experience, which I think we might get off this quest. And that means I might be able to put another point into Renegade. And then I'll do the, the big pink testicles mission. The one that's preaching on the streets. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I can help you. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. You are mistaken. See this here if you don't believe us. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed. Anyone can discover my secret. You'll be fine. The Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. Don't worry, mate. Just chill. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. <laughs> Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. 
You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure nice. the plan stands to profit from this in some way. I'll profit from it. Oh, we didn't level up. Did I not get any experience for that? I got like 10 experience. No, <laughs> what the hell is that it? Okay, we need to go and find... We need to go to the wards. Top of the wards, I think he said. What we'll do, we'll go to, we'll go to Korra's Den, and we'll just like fan out from there and explore the area. Because this is about as far as we got. Wait there, so that's... Right, let's have a look in here, because this is where we killed those guys. See if there's anything worthwhile down here. Ah, look, there's a chest. Oh no, it's not to keep her. Have that. Presidium. We've got to find a way to the the med bay, apparently. Med clinic that way. Martlet and Cora's dead about table. We'll, we'll go to the med bay first. And then we'll go and explore the market because I do want to buy some stuff if I can. Not necessarily weapons and armor, I want them passes. C sex down there. Med clinic, baby. Oh, hello. Oh, that is a view. So with this this thing must like the size of the citadel is unreal. It's like a full on city in the sky. Even bigger. There's probably multiple cities because there's different fans, isn't there? Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Claude Michel. Is there something I can do for you? I'm looking for Garrus. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. 420,000. Oh my days. So that first aid interface, does that automatically heal you? We can sell stuff, but I'm not bothered. Hmm. Love that. File containment system, where's that? Hmm, I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. This is the medical facility. Emily Wong. I'd hold on. Journal. I don't know where he is. Garrus went to the medic clinic in the upper wards to follow up the lead on Saren. Okay then. He might be low. Sulking about the place. Quickly check down here just in case. Nice days I'll level up. Officer Lang. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Yeah. Corfu was a case study during my training. 
I can't believe you took out the whole base. Amazing. Looks like you have a fam. I do. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Harkin. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Oh, well, thanks for your help, man. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. That's the C set Academy, which is not where I want to be. We've already investigated there. Right. Well, there's the markets. Presidium, that's where we came Shepherd, from. Me, to I'm Flux. Hello. I'm Emily Wong. I'm a journalist investigating corruption on the Citadel. You recently took down a man named Fist, reportedly a member of some sort of organized crime ring. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? What's it worth? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. Oh, I didn't want to give her them. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Okay, then. 200 gold, bargain, 140 experience. I'm glad I did that. I was kind of hoping to bargain with her, but I didn't have the choice. I would have, I would have, I would have ripped her eyes out. I would have been like, yeah, 5,000 gold. Hello, ah, man. This is a shock. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Yes. Tell me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Medigel upgrade two. How much is that? Three thousand. Jesus. I'll have your license though. 3,000 gold. I haven't earned that in my entire playthrough. Is that really? Oh, wow! It's you! It's me! You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. <laughs> Pleasure, soul mine. <laughs> nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. <laughs> really? Is that what it says? They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, uh, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Go on then. <laughs> Since you love me so much, I might get a hand job out of this. Anything for a fan? Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again! Happy days. Okay then. Awfully quiet. Where's, this, where's the music on? Right, I want some more shops. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Standard stuff. Look, I'm just giving them the stare of death. License? I love that. Grenade upgrade. Also, every level 2 upgrade costs 3 grand. Bloody hell. He's also got many gel upgrade too. Now, the question I've got is, is if I buy this 2 from this guy, does the old medigel from the other shop go to upgrade 3? Like, you know what I mean? Every time you buy a medigel upgrade, it always upgrades you 1, but increases price. 
as well. Oh, there's Chauvin. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? No more lies. Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Chauvin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Your friend, Jalid, told us about you. You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? Not yet. No, but you're gonna tell me. Everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. Mm. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little... over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? I'm not sure I follow. What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. There's more to this. That doesn't explain why you're trying to kill your partner. I'm not trying to kill him. Jalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? All right. If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. Okay, I will. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. So we need his help as well. So both of these had a fall out for no reason. Right. Well, I'll tell you what, we could... I'll have a quick look in here. How many do I even have? Journal. And the keepers. Eight. I've only got three left to find. Oh, look, we've done one, one big circle. Three left to find. There's not one in... Shit, there's not one in here, is it? I cannot imagine there'd be one in here. That door is locked. I right, tell you what we'll do. We'll go back and speak to Jali, and I think he's in C sec. But first off, three keepers. I've got no idea where they could be. I think I've been pretty much all over the space station. Not down there. Not in here. Still haven't found Garrus. I don't know where he is actually. I right, tell you what we'll do. We'll go and speak to Jalin. I'm sure he's in. C was it C sec? C sec. It was. We'll see what he's got to say for himself. He was down this way. Ah, what's... Ah, what's down here? Oh, I know another place... We... Oh, shit. I know another place we haven't been. There was a there was a place next to the, the reporter that I never went into. Right, we'll speak to this guy, then we'll go back there. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? But the money. You lied to us about the Keeper data. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. You little weasel. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... 
Well, I was hoping you'd take <laughs> care of him. Relax, I'm helping you. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorban, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorban can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Good. Right now we've got people working as a team together. Happy days, we might actually get this done. Right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here, but not before. I'm going to go to the fast travel to where Emily Wong was. So that was the wards. Mo uh, med clinic, maybe. Right. And I'm sure it was right. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it said not the Presidium. Two Flux. We've got to go in there. What I'll do is before we end the episode, let's check our equipment because we've got loads of new stuff, I think. No new. 140 damage, I'll take that. Still the best striker. Still the best. Ah, oh, should I go? No, I want to go for the damage. I'll sacrifice accuracy. We'll test it out. What about upgrades? Recoil damper, weapon stability. Oh, that's more damage, but that's not good enough. I'm gonna keep the recoil damper, chemical rounds, armor piercing rounds, synthetics. So that's the Geth weapon force. Thirty-five percent toxic damage. Oh, that's better than what we've got. Six damage for five seconds. I'll put them on. Armor. I've got the first aid interface too. And we'll keep that on. Okay then. We'll save it and we'll call it an episode there. So next episode we're going to go into this flux area. And then see if we can con finish some of the other side quests. The fan. You've been approached by Conrad Vernia. He seemed like a harmless fan. Oh that sounds a bit ominous. We've still got to finish the last three keepers. We've got to go and speak to Shira. We'll speak to her next episode. That's different. Different systems altogether. Missions. Expose Saren. And find Garrus. We'll get all that done next episode. See you there lads.